What's up everybody? My name is Shannon and I am still waiting for my Seder and today we are talking about Padawan by Kirsten White. We have been so blessed with Obi-Wan Kenobi content this year. My Obi-Wan Kenobi heart is thriving. We had Brotherhood by Mike Chen not very long ago. That was more of like an adult novel type of read whereas this is very strictly YA and when I heard that Kirsten White was going to be writing a YA book for Star Wars I was really excited because I do really really love her writing style. I absolutely loved the And I Darken series, which is a little bit more high YA. Her, you know, Guinevere books, they were a little bit weird, so I wasn't sure what the tone, what the vibe was gonna be of this book, but I did have the pleasure of meeting Kirsten White at Star Wars Celebration, and after talking to her and like just hearing her thoughts and like fangirling with her a little bit, I knew this book was going to be an absolute blast. And it absolutely was. Like Padawan is about like young Obi-Wan Kenobi. He is, you know, trying to find his place. He is a rebellious Padawan. He feels very like left out by, you know, Master Qui-Gon Jinn. He feels like he's not the Jedi he's supposed to be. He's like even questioning like his connection to the Force. He's not sure what he's doing. And when he hears there's a rumor that, you know, maybe Qui-Gon Jinn will be leaving the order. Like, what if he goes the way of Count Dooku? Like, he gets really worried. He gets very scared. So when he finds out about this mysterious planet out, like, way out that nobody's really explored since the High Republic era, he knows that, like, all right, I'm going to go there. I'm going to see what's to be seen. And maybe I will finally prove myself. I immediately started freaking out because the only other Jedi who has been to this planet is Or from the High Republic and she was one of my favorite characters like he finds Orla and Comac's name carved into the wall and I was like "Ooh, my ship my ship so I was really excited about this she does play a really interesting role in this considering the fact that she's a way seeker she's left the Jedi Order before and come back and Obi-Wan kind of reflects that that's not something that's done anymore and that maybe if it was maybe Qui-Gon would feel a little bit differently maybe he would feel a little bit differently so the fact that Kirsten White drew this parallel between Orla and Obi-Wan was something I never even considered. And it was so cool to see, you know, Obi-Wan, who is like the perfect Jedi for what the Clone Wars like needs him to be, the way that he is, the way that he parallels Anakin, to see him have kind of this rebellious stage where he doesn't know what his place is. He's really questioning himself. He doesn't even know if he has a good connection to the Force. It just added so much depth to his character. I think this book, along with, like I said, Brotherhood, but then also Master and Apprentice, where you see Obi-Wan and Qui-Gon working together, just add so much to his character. And then, you know, you watch the prequels, you see his relationship with Anakin in the Clone Wars, you see the devastation, the fallout, and then you see the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. Like, we have just got such a very well-rounded, complex set of stories that has added so much to the Obi-Wan Kenobi character and I was just absolutely blown away by it. I would categorize Padawan itself as a true YA novel. Like it didn't feel like low YA, it didn't feel high YA, like it felt very true YA, which we don't get a ton when it comes to Star Wars publishing. So I was really happy with that. I loved the other characters that we meet on this planet. I loved Obi-Wan kind of coming into his own as like, okay, I like to follow rules. Like I am calm, cool, and collected. Like even learning how to meditate was really fun. And yes, the rumors are true. Obi-Wan is, you know, a little bit bisexual in this book. Personally, I read it as he's demisexual with absolutely no preference for gender, which was still really, really awesome. And honestly, I would love to see more adventures from Obi-Wan in this time period. I think Kirsten White did an amazing job I would love if this is like the next trilogy for a prequels character, like how we got with the Padme books. And overall, I was just absolutely blown away by it. So I highly recommend reading Padawan. It is such a fun read and I cannot wait to see where we're going with Obi-Wan's character next. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to the like button down below and don't forget to subscribe to Top Books with me every week. That's everything I got for today and I will see you guys next time. Bye.